Aries. Welcome to the first half of December love reading for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. So we're just going to dive right into the meditative session that I did, Aries. Uh, <laughs> don't get scared. Well, you're Aries. You don't usually get scared. Um, I got some pretty dark shit. I'm not going to lie. I did. I picked up on some dark shit, Aries. Uh, but I think you're going to be fine. I think I'm going to handle it just fine. Uh, I heard Prey and Predator. <clears throat> I know. I heard Prey. I heard Predator. Um, Aries... You're not going to let anyone hold you prisoner to anything anymore. You're not going to be someone's prisoner. I kept getting this like prison imagery. And I don't think there's actual prison involved in this for you. I don't think so. Um, I really think it's just, it's just, it's metaphorical. It's energetic. You've, you've, re you've felt very chained to someone or a situation. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Um, you felt very chained to someone or a situation here, almost like you are their prisoner, like you have to answer to them, you have to take whatever they say, um, do things for them, felt obligated to them, and it's come to a point, Aries, where you've just had enough, like, I'm like, I'm feeling your irritation, you've just had enough, it's almost made you feel, as for some of you, not all of you, um, it's kind of made you feel like you're not your own person, or that you don't have a say in, like, your own life anymore, and that's no way to live. That's no way to live. This could be a boss. This could be a family member. This could be someone you live with. This could be your spouse. This could be your straight up spouse making you feel this way. It feels very controlling. It feels very possessive. Keep in mind, it can be vice versa. Aries, we know a shadowy Aries kind of has those traits, right? So you could be on them with Aries, but <clears throat> Aries, I just feel like you've really had enough and you're ready to break away. Some of you have already gotten out of this energy, okay? Some of you have already gotten out of this energy, but I do, I do still feel like a prey predator kind of energy about it which is really kind of unsettling if I'm being honest with you I don't think anyone's in danger I don't think anyone's in any physical danger if you know you are then please take care of your situation please like please take care of yourself but I don't feel like it's that it's just energetic someone really just wants you to them they want you chained to them they want you in their clutches I mean it's just very like it's very cringy I don't really like it I don't like it um I did see the hair font they did show me the hair font um, which I, I actually was really happy to see because I feel like that's just so you following your intuition, excuse me, uh, following your own intuition here, um, following your own, uh, you're following guidance, following divine guidance. Some of you might actually be getting advice on what to do in this situation. Some of you could be going to a patriarch for this advice or going to someone, uh, I did, oh, I did just hear of the cloth, uh, someone of the cloth. That's interesting. Some of you could be going to church or falling upon your faith for advice and guidance in this situation, but I think you're gonna be fine either way, okay? I did hear the word clover, which I was very happy to hear. Clover is a luck energy. It's very uh, luck, it, lucky, it's very fortunate. It's um, it's being protected. It's being protected as well. So Aries, I think like I said, you're gonna be just fine, but clearly there's someone that you've either recently gotten away from or that you want to get away from that is very controlling, very, very controlling. Um, to the point where some of you, if you live with this person, they like control your every move. I don't really like that. Um, or they control like what you go and do or, or what you buy and, you know, shit like that. Or like, if you say something they don't like, it's like, they're really kind of like overly aggressive about confronting you on it. You know, it's just a very high strung possessive energy that I, I really don't care for. Okay. Um, so let's go ahead and get into the pre-shuffle here and see what other messages we get for you guys. Okay. So keep in mind, guys, this is a... <coughs> ah, I was okay, Aries, until I started doing your reading here, okay? There might be some, like, really um, needed communication uh, to take place here. I also don't have my words with me. I'm doing a lot of Yoda speak today, and now my nasal chakra is opening, so I'm getting nasally, so please hang in there with me, okay? Uh, so guys, you know, this is a very gentle reading. Not all these messages are for everybody. Messages come through for those who need to hear them, okay? Um, keep in mind it can be vice versa or reverse because it's energy, it's fluid, it's not linear. Yes, this is for the first half of December, but we all work through energy differently at different rates at different times in different ways. So just know that you can be in at the tail end of this, or the beginning of this, or in the middle. Um, anyone else around you can be anywhere else in between, okay? Don't get caught up on the gender of the cards. Nothing is gender specific. We all have masculine and feminine energy. Okay. <clears throat> Looking for any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the first half of December regarding love. Seeing the dice, or die, I guess it's die. I'm seeing die. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. 
uh, definitely an energy of risky gambling sort of energy. Aries, I feel like for you, it's a risk to stay. I feel like it's a risk to stay. Uh, I feel like a lot of stuff has been passing you by. A lot of, yeah, you've been missing, you've, you've been feeling like you've been missing out or maybe you're just suffering from, what is that? What do they call it? FOMO, fear of missing out. Um, but I do feel the energy of like, like you're sitting there, you're sitting there shackled to this person, shackled to the situation. And you're just like, you're watching people have fun. It's kind of like the kid who broke his leg over summer and they're just like, look at all those kids having fun out there. And I'm just like stuck in here in the house. You know, it's kind of like that. That's the kind of energy I'm picking up on. You're tired of that. You're so tired of that. Please import any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Uh, Aries, I'm getting that some of you have really recognized your own talents, like in a way that you've never really understood before. You know, maybe you, like you knew you were good at this, that, or the other, but whatever's happened in your life recently, especially I'm getting this year specifically, you know, maybe you faced a lot of challenges, but it's really helped you to understand your skill set and how vast it really is. And you want to put that to use. And again, you're feeling restricted, like you can't do that. For whatever reason, um, for whatever reason, because of your situation or a person. Yeah, and you're done with that. You're ready. You're ready. You're ready to exercise your skill set. You're ready to expand your life. I'm also hearing you're more you're ready for more independence. Some of you are ready for more independence. I think my camera just glitched out. Again, this is why I wanted the new setup. So I think my camera glitched out. If the audio is messed up, I'm sorry. I know I have no way of fixing it. Unless I start over. And I don't want to start over. Okay. Please send any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. First half of December, please. <sighs> yeah, you've already planted your seeds, Aries, is what I'm getting. And it's like, you're wanting them to grow, but they can't because you're restricted by the situation or person. It's like, I planted the seeds. I manifested this. I manifested this. Why am I not seeing it? Why is my shit not growing? Why am I not getting my shit? Because you're stuck in a stagnant situation. There's stagnant energy around you that you're experiencing. So your seeds can't grow. It's just how energy works. It's just how energy works. Like if you've planted seeds of getting away from this person or getting out of this situation, and you're wondering why it's not happening, because you, you need to actually also make some some move and action to facilitate that energy it's almost kind of, Aries I'm gonna be honest it's kind of like for some of you not all of you you want a big change to get you out of this situation away from this person but you didn't actually want to put in the action here it's almost like I need this to just happen for me <laughs> it's kind of like I need this to just happen for me because if I take the action there's going to be consequences it's that kind of energy of, I'm going to have to have that conversation. I'm going to have to upset people. And you didn't want to go that route. That's interesting. So you're like, so it just has to happen to me. But that's not how it happens. That's not how it works. It's not how it works. It's only for some of you, not for all of you. Keep in mind, it can be vice versa, okay? It's just the pre-shuffle, guys. Ten of Pentacles in reverse, Virgo energy, and the Nine of Wands, Sag energy. Yeah, you hate where you're at. You're not liking it. You're tired. You're exhausted. You're constantly having to fight for yourself and fight for your energy is also what I just heard. Fight for your energy. I think you're experiencing a lot of fatigue, Aries. A lot of fatigue. You're always having to defend yourself. You're always having to stand up for yourself. You're just tired. Okay. For some of you, this is definitely a family situation. For some of you, it's in the workplace. Others, it's a long standing relationship that's broken. It's broken and tired, and you're tired. It's beating you up a little bit, Aries. I can see it. It's definitely beating you up a little bit. For some of you, there is abuse here. Whether it's just verbal or emotional. Again, I don't feel physical. But we do have wands and pentacles. If you're getting physically abused, please take the proper actions to get out of your situation. Please, 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 please. Um... I know it's easier said than done. And I know I'm saying it a little callously. I'm just in the energy and I don't want to lose shit. But please do so. You already know the situation you're in. Please take care of it. Okay? Um, Aries, you're not going to be able to stay much longer in this because you're going to break if you stay. Okay? Some of you, like I said, have already left this. I'm getting that energy. Like, you will break whether it's emotionally. No, it's emotionally. It's emotionally. 
Physically, you're drained and tired. You might even get sick if you don't remove yourself from the situation here. I feel like you've been nudged for a while to get out of this or to get away from this, whether it's a job, a person, a family environment, a toxic dynamic, whatever it is, it's been a long standing thing. It's not new. You've been dealing with it for a while and it just feels like it's a big ass battle. I just heard shields up, shields up. Empress, Libra energy, Taurus energy. It's Venus, it's Venusian. Divine feminine energy. This feels like someone who's not involved in this. Who is this? I'm like, because <laughs> like an empress would not put themselves in the situation or stand for this kind of an energy or stand for this kind of a situation. I feel like you're the nine of wands, Aries. I feel like you're the nine of wands looking at a ten of pentacles situation or issue or people. And you've got someone way separate over here. It could, oh, for some of you, it's a guide. Interesting. For some of you, it is a guide who's trying to help you. I'm getting a healing energy. They're trying, yeah, for some of you, this is a guide or an ancestor, like a grandmotherly, grandmotherly, oh, way far removed though. Oh, this is interesting. This is going to be for one of you. One of you, you have an ancestor that's around you trying really hard to help you get out of the situation or to see a way out. Her third remove, third remove. So that could be, so it could be three generations from your grandmother. You would never have met this person in life. Anyway. That's, that's for one of you. Um, there's a very healing energy here on the outskirts of your situation here, Aries. Very healing person. Very stable. Very, very stable. Mostly getting very comfortable. Very, very comfortable. You're not looking at them. That's interesting. You're not looking at them. You're so distracted and overwhelmed by your situation, this person, the issue at hand that's exhausting you, making you feel very beaten up, I gotta be honest, making you feel very beaten up, that you're not even looking at this empress, whoever they are to you, okay? But I feel like this empress is actually here to help you. They can help you in this. Please provide any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Aries. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the first half of December. Please provide any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Aries. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the first half of December. Am I missing a swamp? I'm noticing like marshland. Maybe you just live around marshland. You can. You can live around marshland. Ooh. Three of Pentacles in reverse, Capricorn energy, and the Eight of Pentacles. You want to break away and deal and just work on your own. You want to be alone. You want to be alone. You want to be away from people. You're tired of it. Other people, other people, or this person uh, have really bogged you down quite a bit. And like you're ready for some alone time. You're ready for isolation. But I'm also getting that for some of you where this person is in your household, or you have to you have to see them on a daily basis. They keep you away from other people. They like intentionally keep you away from other people. I really don't like this energy. So what else wants to come out and then we'll go and get started. Losing coordinating messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Aries, the moon rising Venus and Jupiter for the first half of December. Ah, that's it. On the bottom, Ten of Swords. Aries, you know what to do. It's, it's time to start getting serious about making those moves, okay? Keep in mind it can be vice versa. All right, so let's get started on the actual reading. Any messages for Aries? Any messages for Aries regarding love for the first half of December, please? Any messages for Aries regarding love? For some of you, your mother is supposed to help you. Like a very maternal energy. Whether it's it's your mother or someone else's mother or someone who's just very maternal uh, is supposed to help you. That empress energy is supposed to help you out here. But you're again, you're not looking at that person. You're not even acknowledging that person as part of the solution. Any messages for Aries? Any messages for Aries? Like I said, some of you have already gotten out of this situation. Okay. But that prey predator energy is still kind of around. Any messages for Aries? Regarding love for the first half of December. All right. Any messages for Aries? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Two of Swords. <laughs> Moon and Libra energy. Feeling stuck. Feeling stuck. I don't know how to get out. I don't know how to get out. You do, Aries. You do. 
You do. I'm so I'm sorry, Aries. I'm just gonna call it like I see it. You do. You do know the way out. You just feel like you don't. You just feel like you don't. But there's a way. It's just it's just a path you don't want to take. It's like you don't want you don't want to make it harder than it has to be or something like that. Or you don't want to cause a lot of conflict or a lot of like upset energy or a lot of stress to a lot of people. It's like that's what I'm getting. It's like you're afraid to kind of blow shit up which is not very Aryans. like i said it can be vice versa or aries is probably just not like your strongest placement but yeah it's like you're just afraid to blow shit up you're afraid of the aftermath you know you already know you already know where you already know but you're pretending you don't yeah i really feel like you almost just want like spirit or universe to come in and just like like, just, just get rid of it for you. It's very interesting. Oh, geez. Aries. Eight, uh, <laughs> eight of swords. I almost said eight of cups. Eight of swords. Gemini energy with the chariot in reverse. Can't see your energy. You're afraid to move. <coughs> it's also like you can't move, to be honest with you. Hold on a second. Yeah, this energy. My God, Aries. This is like, I can't move. Literally can't move. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Help me. I'm stuck. But there's fear behind it. Any other messages for Aries? Death. I love that death just made an appearance. Scorpionic energy here. There's going to be an end to the situation because there has to be. It's not sustainable, Aries. It's not sustainable. You will break if you stay in this and, uh, for much longer. I, I feel like three, three, four, three, four days, weeks, months, not years. <laughs> definitely not years um but death there there has to be an ending to this there's got to be an ending to this <clears throat> any other messages for aries regarding love for the first half of december any messages for aries any messages for aries what did i say ten of swords gemini energy there has to be a major ending to this Look at all the swords, two of swords, eight of swords, ten of swords. Any messages for Aries regarding love for the first half of December? I'm going to sound like a broken record in this reading, guys. I'm just giving you a heads up. Overall energy, my God. Like I said, Aries, you already know. You already know you're supposed to believe. You already know you're supposed to not deal with this shit. You already know. Ace of swords underneath that. Look, judgment. Judgment. Fire energy. Also, Scorpionic energy. A lot of Scorpio energy here, not to mention swords galore. I'm like, I'm overwhelmed by the amount of swords I'm looking at here. You already know what you're supposed to do. And like I said, you've been getting nudges. <clears throat> Spiritual nudges. Even if it's just your own intuition, your own inner voice. You know, some of you it is from ancestors. Some of you it's from guides. Some of you have been seeing synchronicities or just straight up visions of what you're supposed to do here. And you're just like, well, I can't do that. I can't do that because this person, because of this person, or I can't do that because of my situation, or I can't do that because what if I blow shit up, or what if I piss people off, or what if, what if, what if, what if, what if, but an ending's gonna happen here, Aries, an ending is gonna happen, so it might as well be on your terms, I'm surprised when I'm gonna see the tower card out here, uh, but let's go ahead and look at the two of swords here, <clears throat> oh my goodness, ah, be honest with yourself, Aries, be honest with yourself, okay, and uh, if it's not you, it's not you, we all know how this works. I feel like some of you guys are screaming at me. That's not me. It's them. Okay. <laughs> okay. We, already, we know how energy works, guys. We know how energy works. Um, yeah, let's do Santa Worth there. I haven't pulled that one out in a while. Talk about the Two of Swords. I love you, Aries. I know. I'm just giving you a little bit of tough love. I'm like, this, situations like this make me really upset. I gotta be honest. They make me really upset because it's just, there's no reason to for it to continue right there's no reason for it to continue we all deserve freedom we all deserve happiness time of the two of swords time of the two of swords for aries regarding love for the first half of december time of the two of swords for aries time of the two of swords for aries Regarding love for the first half of December. The escape is going to be obvious. I just heard the escape is going to be obvious. So that's interesting. Talk about two of swords. 
can I look to a swords for Aries regarding love for the first half of December? Mm. Come on, spirit. <laughs> I mean, like, Aries, I just, I want the best for you. Sun in reverse. Leo energy, you were really unhappy, Aries, in this situation. Really, really, really freaking unhappy. Really unhappy. And now we have that Empress. Libra energy, Taurus energy, Divine Feminine energy. I feel like you're ref you're refusing to look at this person. I don't know who this is to you, Aries, but like I said, I feel like they're meant to help you in this situation. And you're refusing to look at them. You're refusing to look at them. <clears throat> Tony Mark with the Two of Swords. Aries, I gotta be honest. It's almost like you're you're not looking at them because deep down in your subconscious, you know they're supposed to help you get out of this. And if you give that attention, you're not gonna have any choice but to get out of the situation. Tell me about Two of Swords. I really feel you're worried about aftermath. Aftermath. Tell me about Two of Swords for Aries. here oh is this a six or a nine nine <laughs> i love this deck but the six and nines are hard to tell the difference apart nine of cups in reverse piscean energy and then we have the emperor aries energy taurus energy divine mask energy this is someone who's really sad this is someone who's really disappointed could even be a little depressive or overindulging overindulging aries i gotta be honest I feel like this is you i feel like this is your energy here the emperor to the empress like i said you're not looking at this empress it's almost like you're wallowing a little bit. I'm just being honest here. You're you're wallowing in your situation a little bit because you're you're upset. It's like you feel so stuck. You don't feel happy. You feel like happiness is just eluding you. Some of you are kind of drinking and partying to kind of put a little happiness. But I say happiness because you know it's it's a band-aid, right? Um, into your life, but it's just not helping. It's just not helping. You feel like you're missing out on your dreams too, Aries. Some of you feel like you're missing out on your dreams. Overall energy, we have temperance in reverse, Sagittarian energy, total imbalance here. And again, overindulgence. Some are drinking a lot. And Aries, you could be the empress here. I'm just saying, right? But this emperor is overindulging a lot and they're wallowing. I do feel like some of them are even fighting depression. And it's funny because they're an emperor and it's like they're imprisoned to their situation. An emperor normally isn't. I feel like I have this energy recently in a reading. Um, might have been a might have been a monthly. Um, oh, or it might have been Scorpio. Actually, it might have been Scorpio. One of the birthday bonus readings. Um, but yeah, this this emperor feels really confined. But again, I feel I feel like they can get out of it. I feel like they can. Like they know they can. They just are really worried about the freaking aftermath here and they're not looking at this empress who really is the key in getting out of it chair in reverse with the eight of swords again not seeing the way out not looking at the exit I, again i'm hearing escape is easy like the escape is obvious the escape is obvious but not obvious if you're not looking right not obvious if you're not actually going to look at it but then we have death and the ten of swords so i'm curious about this energy about the actual ending that's going to be happening here um let's do gilded Some of this ten of swords. Some of this ten of swords. For Aries. Some of the ten of swords. For Aries. Regarding oh nope. Regarding love for the first half of December. I'm sorry. I got I got to go back here between this emperor and this empress. This nine of cups and reverse energy is really heavy. It's really freaking heavy. Like I said, this this emperor, which I do feel like is you, Aries. You're not looking at this empress. You're not. It's almost like you've already decided that um, they can't help you, but deep down you know they can. Deep down you know they can. I, I know you know. I know you know because you know. Because <laughs> you know the guards are telling me that you know. Anyway. I got sucked into that again. Tell me about the Ten of Swords. Ooh, ooh, Queen of Cups in Reverse. 
Cancerian energy, you can also see Pisces or Scorpio with the Seven of Wands in reverse Leo. Someone could be a cusper, but not necessarily. Oh, this is a lot of hurt. A lot of hurt. Um, I'm also getting discouraged. Discouraged. Discouraged and a lot of pain here. Oh, God. Nine of Pentacles in reverse Virgo energy. Lack of confidence, discouragement. And a lot of pain. I can't tell whose energy this is just yet. Tell me about the Ten of Swords. Starting to feel a little codependence here with this Queen of Cups. I mean, oh, an emotional manipulator? <clears throat> an emotional manipulator. Okay. I, I don't like what they just told me, and I kind of want more cards out to confirm it, but I know I'm being a little hard-headed here. Um... It's almost like this person with this Ten of Swords energy, Aries, like I said, an ending is happening. An ending is coming. Whoever this is, it's almost like they're losing confidence uh, in their emotional manipulative skills and being able to emotionally manipulate. Talk about the Ten of Swords. Talk about the Ten of Swords for Aries. Why do I feel like this is the Predator? Talk about the Ten of Swords. Some of the Ten of Swords for Aries. Now we have a Page of Cups here. Honesty, getting honesty with that. Ooh, to a Queen of Swords. Libra energy could also be air or water. Oh, Aries. Oh, Aries. Okay. I'm liking this energy now. The Page of Cups to the Queen of Swords. This is a um, an honest communication, an offer to communicate honestly. It could also even be an apology. It could even be asking for help from a Queen of Swords energy. I feel like this is actually the Empress. So with this ending that's going to be happening, Aries, it's hard to tell who's initiating it, but the Predator is very clear. This is the Predator. No longer having faith or... Um, no longer having faith or belief in their own emotional manipulative skills. They don't have the confidence anymore. With whatever ending is happening and the way it's happening, their confidence in how they can manipulate you, emperors, is, is finished. And then we have a page of cups with the, to the Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords doesn't fuck around. Queen of Swords really doesn't fuck around. They're also very intelligent. Um, and I feel like this is the Empress and, you're, and I feel like this is you coming to the Empress in honesty. And again, may even be asking for help. So I have the Ten of Swords. Time of the Ten of Swords for Aries. Got two other cards here. Oh yeah, help and help and reflection with the Page of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords in reverse of what the truth really is. Yeah, you're going to the Queen for for advice, for clarity, because the Queen of Swords would have the clarity. The Queen of Swords would know the truth, especially with the Ace of Swords in reverse and the Page of Pentacles. It's like you're coming across as pages here, Emperors. Which again, I, I don't think it's that you're immature or anything like that. Pages are just very genuine, especially when they're upright like this. You're asking for this person's advice on what the truth really is, what the reality of the situation is, and how to reflect on this. Overall energy, we have the two of wands, Aries energy, choosing a new path. Underneath that, we deal with three of swords, Jesus, with the ten of swords in a verse. That's a lot of heartbreak right there. A lot of heartbreak, a lot of pain. So, you know, Empress, you're not exactly getting out of this unscathed as far as your emotions are concerned. I mean, you're already kind of in a rough place with the Nine of Cups in reverse and Temperance in reverse. Yeah, I definitely feel that way. You're walking away from the Queen of Cups in reverse, someone who's been emotionally manipulative, okay? Very emotionally manipulative. And heading in a new direction, even if it's painful for you, after getting advice from an Empress that you've been refusing to acknowledge or refusing to look at, who's giving you the answer? And you will have the answer on how to handle this. Kind of want to look at this Queen of Swords. Well, actually, I want to look at this manipulator. That's what I want to look at this manipulator. Let's look at the Queen of Cups in reverse. Uh, I'm going to use Spellcaster's deck. Talk about this Queen of Cups in reverse. Talk about this emotional manipulator, please. Talk about the Queen of Cups in reverse. Talk about this emotional manipulator. Throw the Queen of Cups in reverse. Throw the Queen of Cups in reverse. 
for Aries for the first half of December. Tell me about this emotional manipulator. I feel like this person's ego is really bruised. Tell me about this emotional manipulator. Tell me about the Queen of Cups in reverse. Oh. Ew. I just heard threatened. We have a King of Wands. Leo energy could also be fire, air with the Nine of Pentacles. Independence. Independence. I feel like this is the Emperor's energy here. Wanting independence, claiming independence. And this person's been uh, wanting to keep that person from that. This Queen of Yeah, this Queen of Cups will want to keep this Emperor from independence. So I'm the Queen of Cups in reverse. Can I this emotional manipulator, please? Like, oh, you want to take action and be independent? I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, and there's the tower. Scorpio, could also be Aries. A lot of Mars energy on the board. Tell me about the Queen of Cups in reverse. I feel like this Queen of Cups has tried, has like, it's almost like a routine crushing of independence. This is, whoa, that's weird. Um, with that tower, I'm just getting repetitive, like repetitive crushing, repetitive crushing. Tell me about Queen of Cups in reverse. And I think it's through words. I think it's through words. I think this person likes to attack the emperor's ego. They like to attack their confidence because that leads them to be independent. And if they keep attacking their confidence and belief in themselves, they can keep them confined. They can keep them down, essentially. Talking about Queen of Cups in reverse. Up. Oh. And there it is, the manipulation. Uh, Magician in reverse. Mercurial energy. So Virgo, Gemini. Could also be Aquarius, Scorpio for me as a reader. Divine masculine energy. Tell me more about the Queen of Cups in reverse. Keep in mind we read energy is not gender, okay? Tell me more about this emotional manipulator, please. Yeah, it's a repetitive manipulation. It's a repetitive crushing of the ego and confidence. Tell me about the Queen of Cups in reverse. Two of Wands to keep this person from moving on. Over energy. Ten of Wands. Burdens. Burdens and a lot of work. This person has been emotional manipulative. It's been a lot of work to keep this person down, to keep this emperor down, to keep them from being independent, to keep them from running off on their own, repetitively crushing their ego, repetitively crushing their confidence here. And I do feel like it's through words to keep them from moving on, to keep them from choosing a new path away from them. Yeah, and Empress, I feel strongly you're going to a Queen of Swords, who I do feel like is an Empress energy, someone who's very intelligent, someone who knows who knows what's up, who's going to look at something from a very uh, practical, pragmatic point of view, who's going to give you the truth, because right now you're really kind of struggling to see the way out, even though deep down you already have the answer. In your subconscious, deep down, you already have the answer, Empress, to get out of this, but talking to this Queen of Swords is going to help you understand how to get out of this once and for all. Yeah, this Empress has been the key the whole time. They've been there. They've been there. But finally taking advantage of that, finally seeing that. Finally seeing that. Wow. Okay, Aries, uh, let's go ahead and pull some advice. What do you say? Yeah, let's pull some advice. Using the Spirit Animal deck, of course. Any advice? Any advice for Aries regarding this spread? Any advice for Aries regarding this spread? Any advice for Aries regarding... Uh, uh, sorry, I'm getting something about this, this Empress slash Queen of Swords here. Um, my Emperors, when you approach this person, just be mindful. They might not exactly be super eager to talk to you, okay? Might not be super eager about that. Um, I'm getting a little bit of a harshness. A little bit of a harshness. I don't know what the history is between you and this Empress. <clears throat> um, but this Empress isn't exactly super happy to be having this conversation is what I'm getting. I don't think that they, it's not that they don't mind like chit chat in small doses because I do feel they're a little guarded with you, Emperors. But this conversation specifically, I feel like is actually really bothering them, which tells me that there's a history here with with your situation that you're, you you want to get out of or that you need to get out of, okay? So just whoever that's for. Any advice for Aries regarding this spread? Any advice for Aries regarding this spread? Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, 
giraffe spirit uh see the big picture 29 breaking down to an 11 and coyote spirit trust and divine detours 16 breaking down to a seven here i love this energy this is like getting your head out of the sand a little bit this is taking the blindfolds off Hold on. taking those blindfolds off aries so you can actually see what's going on here so that you can see that there is a little detour called the empress Who's trying to help you on your path to get you back to where you're supposed to be coyote spirits a trickster energy um it basically whatever we think is reality or whatever like we're live whatever reality we're living in you're going to be thrown a curveball okay and it's going to show you oh is that what i didn't see before <laughs> oh what's this path over here that like i you know wasn't in my awareness before it could also be sudden events like tower moments okay so just keep that in mind but the sunburst like i said is the key aries and is going to allow you to get your head out of the sand Face the shit you have been wanting to face. And you're not going to like to get over worrying about the aftermath. Stop worrying about the aftermath. And you're going to see your way out. Like I said, the escape is obvious. I'm getting the escape is obvious. A draft can see for pretty, pretty far. <laughs> A draft can see very, very far, right? The escape is going to be obvious. You just got to take the blindfold off. You just can't be afraid to go there. Parrot spirit, watch your words. I love when this card comes out. It always makes me smile. And it always makes me think of Sag, actually. Uh, 45, bringing it down to a nine. So completions here. Yeah, like I said, I feel like this person, this emotional manipulator is really good at um, manipulating through words. It's like crushing the confidence, crushing your ego through words. I like really don't like that. They know what they're doing. This Queen of Cups universe, they know how to manipulate this emperor. If they just make this emperor constantly second guess themselves and plague on their insecurities, they know how to keep them in line. And that's what this card's out here for, my emperors. Watch what this person says. Analyze what they say. Why would, and it's like, here's the other thing. I'm sorry. I don't mean to get on my soapbox. If people say fucked up shit to you, you don't have to take it. And you definitely don't have to listen to it. You know, like that's what I'm getting. It's like, why would you ever listen to someone talking shit to you about you to your face? It doesn't mean it's true. Even if it plagues on your insecurities, that just says that you have to heal that shit. And that's okay. We've all been in those positions where our insecurities start to show through. Maybe sometimes people take advantage of it. Maybe they don't. But it's about how this person speaks to you, Emperor. So next time you have to interact with this Queen of Cups, which I feel like is very often, um, watch, how they're say watch how they're saying things. And question it like why would you say that to me like really ask yourself that why would this person say that to me that's because that's how they manipulate you okay any other advice for my aries regarding this spread Ooh, very nice lizard spirit dream the world into being 38 another 11 here this is a manifestation energy um getting shit going right uh, this is about conception though like con conceptual ideas is what I meant to say the ideas the picture of it how does it look what do I really want for myself Aries like I said I feel like deep down you already know but because you're blindfolded you can't really see so you got to make sure to take that blindfold off to really see how you want things to be in your life and what it would really look like to be truly happy and all the components that are involved in that this empress is going to help you see that picture start making a plan I just heard, stop, start making a plan. Start making a plan. Any other advice for my Aries regarding this spread? Overall, oh, I like this. Dear spirit, bring a gentle, here's your empress. Bring a gentle touch. 18 breaking down to a nine. Oh, I love this energy. This is like such like a soothing, calming, like almost like, you know, like a mom, like soothing, like a child's wounds kind of, kind of energy. This feels really, really yummy. I feel like this is the empress coming in to help here. Yeah, I feel like this, the, the Empress is coming in here to help. Like I said, for some of you, this Empress is just an, an ancestor or a guide to help give you understanding, to help give you that clarity, okay? So some of you, this is not a three-dimensional person. Some of you, it's, you know, it's a spirit. It's an energy, okay? Um, and it is very healing. It is very, very healing here, okay? Um, but for those of this person's three-dimensional, they're a little guarded. They are a little guarded here, Okay. And you're coming across as pages. Those are very, very genuine energies. Very gentle energies as well. They're, they're equivalent to children. A mother to children. There is that kind of dynamic here, Aries, that I'm picking up between you and the Empress. And not in like a weird, weird way. Not in a weird way. It's just like they know how to make you feel better. 
They know how to calm you down. Oh, this is sweet. Oh. They know how to make you feel good. They know how to calm you down. They know exactly what to say for you to have understanding of certain topics you guys talk about, certain issues that you, you come into, certain situations you find yourself in. This person, I think, has given you some good advice in the past, actually. But whatever's happened to make you turn away from the Empress, that I don't know. That's going to be personal to each of you. Um, but coming in as a page to queen, that's that energy. You're coming in very honest to this person. I think that's really going to help them get their guard down a little bit. Um, but like I said, for uh, for some of you, it's really just an ancestor or guide that's like coming in to help help you heal a little bit, um, to get to get you to understand and to see the reality of the situation, the stuff that you don't want to see, so that you can get out of it and take care of it. Okay. Oh, Aries. I know this was a little heavy. This was heavy, but it's ending in a really good spot. You're gonna you're getting out of this. You're gonna get out of this through the help of a guide or ancestor, or through the help of an empress slash queen. And it looks beautiful, okay? Aries, I hope you found that insightful and helpful. Don't forget to go on uh, Patreon and Vimeo and Instagram. And I will see you guys later, okay? Namaste.